I have just one row of shoot that I need to clip up. These are the clips that I've been starting to use in the garden this year. They just open and close really easily. Um, you can get them, I don't know, I think I've heard the dollar store, Amazon, Walmart, any place where you're going to buy any other gardening product, you can probably get these. I used to use wire to tie up my tomatoes. I have this rose right here, which will likely stay upright because it's currently growing upright to get me on the pot for some light. To make sure that it stays trained up to this trellis, I'm going to clip it around the plant. And then this little spot right here is supposed to be for the wire. So I would clip it probably up here. And I'm going to see if I can't sneak the rose into that clip. And there you go. And now it's going to stay hooked up there. Just like that. I have some tomatoes to clip up, so let's do that too. Well, I'm going to go with some bigger clips here so that the tomatoes can move around a little bit. Um, and here is one that is starting to go off to the side. Um, so instead of having it lean away from the fence, I can just clip it like that. This one's leaning away too, so I'll clip him up. You see that? Look at that. So it's all here. Take it in and clip it up. And with this one here. This one down here is leaning too, so I'll get that one up. Some tomatoes on already, and I have some of these branches I'm gonna end up cutting off. This guy's leaning all the way up here. And this one down here, which is technically a sucker, but I'm not going to take it off because I'm letting my suckers grow this year. So the other thing you can do is you can clip a tomato to a tomato. So that's the garden right now. It's looking amazing. In a couple days, there'll be even more growth.